So in the previous video, I did the overview for the charades or word game. I'm going to go walk through how to do the demo app with the design screen here first. You're going to see I have a vertical arrangement here just with a button in here for us to generate our next word or phrase. Uh, going down, I have another uh, vertical arrange or horizontal arrangement with the score label where I'm going to keep track of the score. Uh, a vertical arrangement with just the uh, button or the, I'm saying the label, I'm sorry, and below that, uh, a large label where the words will, uh, for the phrase or the word will appear. A horizontal arrangement below that to start the timer, stop the timer, and display the timer. A, another horizontal arrangement with a skip and a reset button. And we can see I have my hidden components of a clock, my player for the sound, and my notifier. So what I'm going to do is come over to my blocks and set up my variables. I'm going to initialize and I'm going to do my charades list. Uh, I'm going to go make a list and I'm going to grab a text box. And this is where I would type in things such as mowing the lawn or anything I'd want to be activated for the charade. So again, this list is going to be much longer and I will do it off screen to put more content in. But you're just going to type in a list. If we need to add items to that list, we can hit the little uh, gear here, bring in another list item in that order. So I would obviously then just add something in there. So these would be my actions or my words. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to initialize a global variable for my score. And I'm actually going to set this uh, equal to negative one. And the reason I'm choosing negative one, which doesn't make sense, is I'm going to use the button to bring in my uh, first word, which is going to give the person a point. Uh, again, this is just for the demo app. If you were doing this separately, you might actually have a scoring uh, button. Uh, but for this purpose, that's why I'm setting it to negative one instead of zero. I'm going to bring in another one, and I'm just going to label this one time left. And so this will be the turn, so the countdown clock for the turn. And I'm going to make this uh, 30 seconds, or what will be 30 seconds. So this is just setting up the variables and the design screen for this app. Again, depending on the type of game that you choose, uh, your design screen will look obviously a lot different than this. Uh, but this is just to get the logic down for the demonstration app.